welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. I'm your host, Sonic Blue Sky. In the last episode, we did tons and tons and tons of side quests. In this episode, we're heading off to Lewin to begin the restoration of Lewin side quest. This side quest is actually very expensive. The hell? There's... The f***? No, 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 game, please don't glitch on me. <laughs> please don't glitch. Because it's not supposed to glitch. There's no, there's no ending thing for this side, wait a second, wait a second, did I go talk to Pietro? Hold on a second, I'm going to go check him. Because there is no ending thing, there is no cutoff point for this side quest. There is no cutoff point for this side Not at all. Nope. Dude, the fuck are you doing back here? Dude! What the hell? What's he doing back here? I talked to him, like, way early on. Uh, uh, game! Now he should be back here. There he is. Pietro. I didn't realize it was this bad, but I won't give up. Swear I'll rebuild the city for those who were killed as well. But in order to accomplish that, I, I need both people and money. So what you can do here now is you need to donate certain amounts of gold to uh, get this side quest going. I calculated the total number of gold that you're going to have to give him, and that's 458,000 500 gold. That is the total amount that you're going to need. Uh, I've been grinding up on the dragon in um, the Earth Temple because it gives you 10,000 gold per battle. And you, by now, you should have a blue Sephira. And apparently, they don't stack. Um, but a blue Sephira should get you. May, uh, it should double the amount of gold. So you're getting 20,000 gold per battle. I'm not sure if you can stack it as long as it's not a blue Sephira. Like you could stack... You could have someone equipped with this normal Sephira and then a blue Sephira. And then you'd get 150% of the gold. Um, I don't know. It, that might be the case. I didn't try it out. But a blue Sephira with getting 20,000 gold per battle is still pretty good. Plus the dragon gives you some pretty good experience. Now, you need to give these in increments. You can't just donate 458,500 gold right away. It's That's not how it's going to work. Um, you have to donate it in a certain order. And I'll put up the list. You know, I'll just show you guys how much you need to do. Um, nah, never mind. I'll put up a list. Uh, we're going to do 5,000 first. We can't save the world if we can't even save a town, can we? We want to help everyone in here. Lloyd, thank you very much. I will make good use of it. And you have... And between donating money, you have to leave and then go back in. Now, the next thing you're going to need is 12,000 and... So on. Uh, every time you donate something changes with the city um here's there's more here the next stage a new resident moves in and on the third stage you're gonna recognize something pretty cool 21,500 now let's see what happens in the next stage Lewin the city of rebirth as you can see it's it's still not you know there's a couple new new people here uh, some boards are being patched up it's getting along basically um, what do we want to do now? fifteen thousand yeah um, I'll basically cut it back to significant points along uh, this change thing. 
I'll be right back, basically, whenever there's a significant change in the city. Alright, now as you can see, major difference is that most of the boards are cleaned up and a lot of the houses are being moved out. Um, whoa. Okay, maybe I messed up here. Hold on. Okay. Now, in the next stage, though, that I'm looking for, the in and item shop should be reopened. Oh, 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 the inn did open. Well, I think I just wasted a good 35000 Oh, well. Alright, now the next stage is 40000 so I'll see you guys then on the next major thing. Actually, which is actually next, so... Um, basically, more people are coming to Lewin. Um, now let's go to... 45,000. Now the boards are looking much better, and the cats are back. That's essentially what happened. This store is still being rebuilt. More people are coming in, though. Now we gotta do 50,000! And on 50,000... You can see that these are, there are railings here, but also the weapon shop reopens. However, this weapon shop, as you would guess, is very weak. Items... Not in your best interest to buy anything from it. But, if you do this... Basically, the the city is back, at this point, the city is back to its old self. As When the weapon shop reopens at the 10th stage, the, the city is back to its original look. Um, however, you can keep donating to the city to help it grow even further. So what you're going to want to do now is, now you're going to be giving them a huge amount, two huge amounts of money. And on this store, on this part, there are railings and there's the streets are lined with cobblestone and people are all happy and the weapon shop, however, has gotten an upgrade. They now sell every Ugh, excuse me. They now sell everyone's second strongest weapon in the game. Not including, or I'd say actually third strongest, not including the Devil's Arms, but you'll see what I mean about the Devil's Arms. Now, there are actually quite a few things I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy one of each. They're each 40,000, so they are very expensive. I'm not gonna equip the paper fan though, so. This I actually wouldn't give to Rain because it says our attack goes up, but we don't want that. We want our intelligence to be up. So let's give this to Regal, the Glory Arts, the Pow Hammer DX. She doesn't need the tambourine, it just increases her luck. Genus does have his strongest weapon in the game. Now we can give him the Toy Dagger, which is a plastic pink dagger. Or we can give him uh, the baseball bat. Bottom of the ninth, bases loaded, two men out, it's all up to you! I'm going to give him that. Uh, we're definitely giving Sheena the money bag because, as weird as it sounds, um, you actually gain money, extra money during every fight that you use the money bags. So that's kind of cool. Um, how much, oh jeez, I went down to 643,000. That was up above a million gold from earlier, so... Yeah. Now the last major donation, which is this one, is 
100,000 gold. And when you're done with that, you come back and the city is essentially done being built. Boom. Now it should have been called the city of... Huh? Um. Okay. Let me try something here. I'm gonna donate 5,000 gold. No! There. There we go. Uh, now you're just... It's, it's supposed to be called Luin the City of Water, but apparently my game decided to glitch out and not show the opening thing with the new name, but okay. Now we're just going to do three more payments of 5,000 gold. One, as you saw, it made a statue of Sheena near the weapon shop. This one makes a statue of Lloyd near the fountain, or on top of the fountain, over here. Right there. And then the last 5,000... ...will make a statue of rain in the town square near the item shop. Right over here. And there's her statue. Rain Sage, the wise teacher, supported the hearts of the people. And now with that, Lewin is rebuilt. Now, I know I said it would cost you 458000 and I am now, well, I would have, I actually, never mind. Never mind. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks to you, Lewin has completely changed, and I feel I have been able to repay my debt to this city. Good job, Pietro. No, please say that to the people of the city. It was thanks to the strength of these people that we were able to rebuild and expand Luin. As soon as I finish my remaining duties, I intend to go on a journey. I want to save all those that are suffering at the hands of the Zions. And then Pietro is pretty much, yeah, he thanks us. And that's pretty much it. That is the end of the Restoring Luin side quest. However, we are not done with stuff to be done in Luin, basically. Yeah. There is more stuff to be done. If you Once you are done rebuilding Luin, come down here this boat. Now, I'm going to show you guys something. Remember, where is it, where is it? Uh, Lila's letter. Remember this? We got way back the first time we went to Azuld. It was addressed to Ifrid. Yeah, guess what? We are just finishing up that side quest right now. Look what this is. Oh, sir, you have good taste. What? If you act now, I'll sell you. I'll sell this boat for only three thousand gold. Well, don't you want to buy it? Eh. It's all right, actually. This is three thousand gold. We can't make it out to sea with a boat like this. This is called a houseboat. They're popular in Azuld right now. I didn't see anything like that in Azuld. What? Uh, I mean, it's about to become popular. How about it? It's for your future dream house. For my future, huh? It's a home away from home. A place where you can get can get all lovey-dovey with a certain girl. Come on, buy it. Now, you want to say that you'll buy it. It's like, okay, I'll take it. Good boy, let's write up a contract right now. Okay, here's the contract. Don't lose it. See you around. Ha ha ha. Floyd, show me that contract. This is... I knew he was trying to trick you. What? What is it? Look at this. It says it's a lease. You just rented this boat for 3,000 gold from a person named Ifrid. Wh what? Hey, isn't Ifrid the one Lila asked us to give her letter to? What? Wait, it can't be. That was Ifrid? Damn it. I knew he... I, uh, when I see him next time, I'll... Ugh. Rage! Now you can actually go into the boat. There's not much in here. In fact, there's really nothing in here. Uh, you basically just bought a hunk of wood for nothing. Uh, now, what you're going to do now... Don't worry, this isn't the end of it. You're going to get something out of this. We are going to leave and then enter Lewin again. And Ifrid will 
like an idiot, be right back at the boathouse because he doesn't realize that we would be smart enough to figure this out. Yeah, he's right there. Oh, I've been waiting for you, Lloyd. You, I freed. Hey, you know my name. That's not important. You tricked us. Hey, it's your fault for not checking the contract. Indeed, contracts are absolute. Regal, whose side are you on? Okay, okay, fine. Then let's do this. Let's make a new contract. Come with me on an adventure across the seven seas. What the heck are you talking about? I'm searching for the legendary treasure left by left behind by Spiritua. If you help me find that, I'll give you the boat. Oh, oh, that boat. Okay. Are you sure, Lloyd? You're just going to get tricked again. Dwarven vow number 18. It's better to be deceived than to deceive. I'm going to try trusting him. Okay, then let's make a contract. Not again. This time, I'll look at it as well. I don't see any problems. Okay, then I'll sign. Alright, we've got a new contract. Time to go, crew. W what are you talking about? What else? From this point on, you're my crew. What? We're just going to help you hunt for some treasure. That's why you guys are amateurs. Read the contract carefully. Hey, this contract is an application to become a pirate. That's impossible. That was careless. It must have been double-layered. Lloyd signed to become a pirate without realizing it. Ha ha ha! With this, our contract is sealed. Now, crew, change out of those flashy clothes. What the? Why just me? Sorry, I'm low on funds. You'll have to represent all of us as a pirate. What? You got a problem? You know, this outfit isn't half bad. Oh, well, hey! I think we'll get along well, Lloyd. Lloyd's taste in clothing is absolutely terrible. Lloyd obtained the title of Argmy Hearties. All right, begin at the begin the search at once. Begin the search where? Where else? Search anything related to the Church of Martell from top to bottom. I'll be waiting for you in Hyma. Are you gonna make us do all the work? Stop grumbling. My boat was damaged by the recent earthquake. Now listen, if you find any clues, come to Hyma. Damn it. Fine, we'll go look for them. Let's check out the House of Salvation, okay, Lloyd? Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Now, there's a specific place that we're going to... Oh, jeez. There's a specific place that we're going to have to go um, to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do this to finish this up. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, what we're going to have to do is... Uh, not we're not only just getting this title out of the quest. Uh, now I'm gonna keep loading this title for a while, just because it's funny. Um, oh, the con man. Damn that Ifried tricking us like this. He's quite the con man. It's your fault too for falling for it. By that logic, it sounds like you're saying that someone who gets robbed is more at fault than the guy who robbed him. I said too. At any rate, now that we've made a contract with him, we have to aid him in his treasure hunt. Man, what are we going to have to go through now? Uh, side quests. But, yeah, um, what we're going to have to do is... Uh... Hold on. Okay, what we have to do is go to these following House of Salvations in order. We have to go to... Asgard first. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. Then the Isalia House of Salvation. And I'll just show my arrival at each one. This is that Asgard one. Is Asgard, Isalia, the Palma Costa House of Salvation, and the Thoda Geyser Dock. Uh, the Treasure of Spiritua. The Ring Spiritual War on our first pilgrimage is very valuable. Now that you mention it, one of the descendants of the Seven Disciples of Spiritual was on a pilgrimage. Being a descendant of the Seven Saints, he would most likely know about the treasure which you speak of. He seems to be visiting Houses of Salvation, so you may run into him eventually. So yes, we are looking for the ring that Spiritual wore. So now we're off to Asalia. I'll meet you guys there. I'll explain what we have to do after we get all through all of the Houses of Salvation. And here we are. Ooh. I descended of the Seven Saints. Ah, you must mean High Priest August. Or Auguste. So High Priest August... Auguste... I don't know. I'm going to pronounce it the way I want to. Auguste 
is a descendant of the Seven Saints. You know him? The priests all come to train under Grandmother, so... Auguste said he was going to make an offering of the treasure passed down from Spiritual at the final location of his pilgrimage. He then headed for the next house. Okay, let's go. Now we have to go to Palma Costa. So, let's... Go full C! Also, this, is go this side quest is going to cost you a lot of money as well. Max of 100 103000 So, yeah. And here we are at the Palma Costa House of Salvation. What's going on? Since the Chosen went on her journey, instead of getting better, the city got destroyed. When will Martell awake and save us? Martell saves those who walk on their own two legs and go awaken her. I'm tired of hearing that speech. I want my son back. You. You're the Chosen. Please, give me back my son. When Palmacosta was destroyed by the monster, my son was... My son was... I... I can't. If you're the Chosen, you can do something. Go meet Martell and have her bring my son back to life. Are you saying you can't even do that? You're a failure, just like they say. Stop. My son is dead. He died believe believing that the world was about to be regenerated. That is, this is too cruel. Bitch. Chosen, I apologize. No, it's my fault. It's because I couldn't save the world. It's not over yet. Our journey's not over. Colette and us, we haven't abandoned the world. Yes, we believe in you. By the way, what brings you here today? We're looking for someone named Auguste, who, is the, who has the treasure of Spiritua. High Priest Auguste is at the House of Salvation by the Thoda Island do boat dock. He was asked to conduct prayers by someone named Eifried. By Eifried? Lloyd, let's go. Yeah. Oh, Eifried. And here we go. The final House of Salvation. Where is he? Where is he? Probably out here. Aha! Are you the Chosen? Yes. During the recent great disaster, many people lost their lives. Even those that survived are filled with despair because of the disappearance of the Tower of Salvation. Yes. I am on a journey to appease those lost lives and to guide those who survived towards hope. And while on this journey, I met a man. Eifried? Yes. He was seeking the treasure of Spiritual in order to benefit those who are unsatisfied or un added something with a complete lack of progress in the world regeneration. However, along the way, that great disaster occurred. His boat was destroyed and all of his companions were lost at sea. He asked me to pray for them, and for those who believe in the world regeneration in the future. What can I... what can I do? It's true that I... failed. But there's still a path. We're searching for a way to save everyone. All you can do is what you are able to do. And when the world has been regenerated, Think back on all of those who have lost their lives. Yes, if we just stay here and lament, the situation will only worsen. I'm sure it is, a pain f it is painful for you, but, mo but people must keep looking forward. Please give this to Ifri. Spiritua's Ring. A ring known to be Spiritua's greatest treasure. Ifri said that he wanted me to find the Chosen and have you pray for his companions. And at the end of my pilgrimage, inform you of the meaning behind the pilgrimage. Chosen, I'm counting on you to take care of Eifried and the world. The world! So let's go back to Lewin and give this son of a Kratos his ring. He wasn't at Lewin. Do, do. There he is. Did you hear the story, Chosen? I. because of my incompetence, I apologize. No, you don't need to apologize to me. I'm alive. If you're going to apologize, apologize to my dead crew. Yes. I freed. This may sound like an excuse, but please listen. Colette didn't abandon Silverant. We just... Don't say anything. That doesn't just sound like an excuse. It is an excuse. I just wanted the Chosen to go on a pilgrimage for my crew. Yes. I'm sure you all worked hard for world regeneration. I know that but I also understand the feelings of those who blame you. Yes. Okay. Jeez. So, yeah, I, I don't get interrupted enough. You guys have seen throughout the course of this Let's Play how many times I've been interrupted.
Hmm. There we go, we got Eifried's letter. He's basically telling us to go to... Why don't I have... Everyone's in their own costumes except for Sheena. Why? Um... Yeah. Don't judge me! What we need to do now is go to Izuald and talk to Lila! Mm. What? You have a letter from Eifried? What? Just what do you think you're up to? Huh? What are you talking about? Read this letter! To Lila. I'm sorry, but I am unable to return you the money I borrowed by the due date. I am going on a new journey. My first mate, Lloyd, who delivered all th you this letter, will pay off all of the money I owe you. Thank you for your all you've done for me. Farewell. Alright, pay me the money back. Or pay me back the money. Hey, 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 girl! Aren't you this Eifried guy's girlfriend? You've got to be kidding. I'd never date a bandit like that. I'm a money lender. He said he was going to find the legendary treasure of Mythos or something, and then ran off after borrowing money from me. Oh, uh, by the way, how much does he owe you? It's a hundred million gold with interest. W what? One hundred million? Now give it back. We don't have that kind of money. We'll give you Spiritus treasure instead. I suppose it might have some value to a collector. I know. How about selling that to Koton? Yeah. Lila, wait just a little. We're going to go make some money. All right. Is it true that the letter came from Eifried? Then take Max with you. What? I can't let you run away. Give the money to Max. I don't quite understand, but okay. Now hurry up and take, make that money. Okay, okay. We're off to Hakonisha Peak. What? You want me to buy this from you? Hmm, so this ring was won by Spiritua. Alright, how about how much? 100 million gold. That's ridiculous! I can't pay that! Oh, well then, let's just throw this Spiritua's ring into the sea. What? We're leaving now, Lloyd. Alright, alright. But 100 million gold is too much, too much for just that. Throw something else in to match that price. Alright, we'll give you a road pass. W what? You're the one that was selling those for a hundred million gold, so it's worth that, right? Grrr, t take it! Uh, I'm nervous holding this much money. What if I drop it? Don't worry, just take it. Okay. Okay, now we can pay her back. We'll tell Lila. Lila, here's the money. One hundred million gold. Welcome back, my one hundred million gold. Oh, and you too, Max. I've received your payment. With this, I'll mark the debt as paid. I hope you learn from this to never trust a scoundrel like that again. Woo! Thank God that, uh... What's-his-face... That Hakonisha Peak is loaded. Uh, but that is not the end to that side quest. Oh, wait, wait, we did something wrong. Ah, don't go out. Now, what we have to do is go to the dock at Izu in Izuold and talk to Max. And he will give us the last item uh, for this side quest. And was anything between Lila and Eifried after all? Thanks, guys. Why are you thanking us? We didn't do anything. Now Lila will surely look at me. Here's a token of my thanks. We got Eifried's hat. I'm really grateful to you. Thank you so much. Eifried's hat is actually not a half bad item. Um, it's better than Genus's star cap. Um, it's not as good as anything Lloyd's going to get, but it's definitely something you can give Genus, which is pretty cool. So Genus is now a pirate! As well as a cat. So he's a cat pirate! Yar! Meow. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're this, that's pretty much just about what we've got done for this side quest. Now we're going to do one last side quest, and then you're going to be seeing side quests that you actually want to see. So let's head back to Tethayala.